Hello everyone, Gilly here. Let's continue solving advent of code problems for 2017 in F sharp. This is day 14, part one. In day 14, we're gonna build on a prior solution, specifically day 10, where we built up a function to compute a not hash, K-N-O-T, not. Basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be given some kind of an input. For example, it might look like this. And then we're going to generate 128 keys, zero to 127, where each key is that input dash a value somewhere between zero and well 128 so for example if you were given this input this would be the first one at zero this would be the last one at 127 because there are 128 of them and you're starting at zero so we're going to do that and then we're going to take a hash we're going to take the not hash which we built in problem 10 again and we're going to simply count how many if we convert the hash values to binary how many of the values are ones how many of the bits if you will are ones so it's pretty straightforward let's go ahead and dive into the code our actual input is this value right here so i'm going to save that off as key i will save it to the very top now let's copy in our solution from day 10 because it's gonna be very, very useful in computing the not hash, which is basically what we did. So we didn't actually build a function to compute the not hash, we just computed it once and then uh, printed out our answer. So let's actually make a function to do the not hash. And now I'll just take in some kind of a value. Okay, now we can kind of take these values that we computed here that were specific to the actual problem and we can nest them inside of our not hash function. We can get rid of this input. We no longer care about that input. And then what we can do is instead of accepting input, we can accept V and there you go. We've parameterized our answer from part 10 to make a function that'll compute the not hash of something. And really to convert to and from binary, it's most useful if we can return back a number. So you'll notice we have a number here, but then here and here, we just do kind of some string manipulation. So we can get rid of that. We no longer need pad hex because we're not really talking in hex anymore. We want binary. And that should be enough to get started from problem 10. So first things first, let's calculate the keys. To do that, we can do a list.map and we can map from zero to 127. And what do we want to do? Well, pretty much we want to convert the value to those keys that we saw. So percent %s and then percent %d, where percent %s, the thing before the dash, is just going to be our key we were given, which I copied to the top of the file. All right, let's make a function let to binary, which will just take in a value, which is some int, and convert to a binary string using the .NET API. So system.convert to string v and 2. So that'll convert it into a string, a binary string specifically. Now let's compute our bits. And the actual problem phrases this as if it were some kind of a grid, which doesn't actually matter for this particular solution where you don't really care what shape this thing has. We really just have to count how many ones there are. That's what the problem's actually asking for, how many ones. So list.collect, not hash, keys. Next, let's do a list.map to binary string. So convert each of them to binary. And then last but not least, let's do a string.concat on the empty string. And that will just give us back one big old string. All right, and then to solve the problem, let's print out the result of a seek.count by uh, the bits over the bits. And how do we want to count? We want to count where the value equals one. So let's run this and see how we did. And count by actually returns back a sequence of groupings where the predicate matches. And it's not really a predicate actually, it's a transformer of the keys. And we got back for true, which is what we care about, 8,230, which is the correct answer.